particular specialty of all my research group is to develop special computational techniques that allow us to simulate the full time length of functional proteins. So the biological molecules, just big molecules, they're not, not so different from regular molecules. Mm -hmm. They're more complex. Sometimes we call it actually macromolecules, and they're biologically important. Uh, the molecules, they move very, very fast. We cannot trace their motion. Length scale, they're very, very tiny. Right, we cannot see them. Right, a computer really allows us to, to be able to trace their motions, right, to be able to bridge our length scale and time scale. Right, they allow us to be able to see them. Seeing things is very important. But the key part actually, because the it takes time for the protein to function. And so it's a very expensive simulation, and very costly in terms of time. So you have to develop a special technique, right? If you can reach uh, the time scale, the protein function, you'll know the secret of how protein function. Also, you'll be able to design drug molecules using computer. That's not only what we do, that's many people in the world now they're doing, using computer to design drug molecules. So the long, longer time scale will ensure the accuracy of the predi prediction. I think in many aspects, actually, in RCC, mm -hmm. they're very essential for us, right? And in terms, actually, in terms of providing computer resources, in terms, actually, even for storage, right? And to, to make, in many instances, actually, to make the research what we could not do, actually, possible. So this year, we are working together to have more uh, so called GPU machine that allows us to have a better computer f facility to, number one, actually, to shorten our time you know, time lens for the algorithm test. Mm -hmm. Second part I should to allow to have a better production of uh, the data. You know, the one thing I really want to say because actually the, the computational science right, change really is transforming the science overall because the computer become more powerful, right? And so the, we can put a lot of uh, so-called physical science practice into computer, right? That allows us to really uh, extend the skill I think actually this type of research, computer research, will be more and more uh, dominant in comparison with the so-called classical, traditional, physical lab type of research. I think we're going to see a, a bigger RCC with time going, and more this type of research. The reason you, you do science is because you go after some dream. The reason I should, uh, I can still do the same type of research because I should, that moment I was dreaming about one day I can do this type of simulation.